In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at plugins in WordPress. Now, plugins overall in WordPress, the idea behind them is that they are going to provide you with additional controls and also protection for your website so that you're not having to micromanage the entire website. To show you, under plugins, if you just click on plugins in your dashboard, you're going to get a whole new area here, and I'll X out of this theme installation, as far as showing you what already is plugged in. Now, by default, every time that you do a plugin or you make a new WordPress site, the anti spam and Hello Dolly is going to be installed. So, all you have to do is actually activate both of these. So, this is more of the Hello Dolly is just more of a demonstration and fun type of update for a plugin. However, the anti spam is very much an important element whereby if you activate it, it's going to help, especially if you have any sort of forms or comment commenting capabilities that you can go through and have that control that for you. However, one cool thing too that's showing up here, at least in my local version, is I'm recording this video at a time where there's a new version available. When you're working locally, you can actually choose to update and it will update within your local copy here. So I can go ahead and choose to activate the anti-spam here. And then you would go through and it would actually take you through as far as your personal and your different options here. For instance, if you were actually working for a company, you would probably be looking at as far as Enterprise or Enterprise Plus, or even a small indie startup company, you would probably be looking at Plus. So you do have options here. A lot of the plugins, as you'll see in the links also in the class site, a lot of the plugins actually also have two forms, whereby they will let you go through and kind of preview with the free account, but also too, you do have paid plans. Now, another thing you can do under plugins is under add new. There are several main type of plugins, but also too, you can look at some of the popular plugins. You can also look at recommended plugins as well. We are going to have a lecture. One of the big ones as far as e-commerce and open source is WooCommerce. That might be a plugin that you would see in future WordPress sites. Another big one though, just to show you here is Jetpack. This is a nice uh, plugin that will let you as far as both in terms of usability of your site, speed of load, but also protect your site as well. Any one that you want to have, you can just choose install now. So in this case, I'll demonstrate with Jetpack. WordPress is going to think for a moment and then I'll be able to see it in my plugin list. So there you can see it's installed. So now if I go back to installed plugins just to show you, notice now I have three items here, including I can activate Jetpack. Once you've done this, you can go through and look at my Jetpack. You can look at the settings regarding Jetpack. And so this is set up and ready to go that whenever you come in off of online mode, it'll already be pre-installed that you can set up for your website. The last item to just talk about very, very briefly, and it assumes that you have a lot more backend experience. If you really, really needed to, you could actually come in and one, not only edit pre-made plugins for your website, but number two, you could actually write your own plugins as needed. Similar to themes, they use the server-side language PHP that where you can come in and actually edit as far as each of the different elements here. However, just to note, if you're going to edit a plugin, you probably want to deactivate it first. This can actually break your website. Also too, again, if you are not sure on PHP or what the web pages are doing, I would hold off on that until you get a little bit more experience working with plugins and themes and working in the WordPress environment in general. Being able to work with PHP will come. Uh, you can also learn PHP in numerous different ways on the internet. And it's a great language to have in your back pocket. But again, you don't need to know coding such as PHP to make 
websites using WordPress and have interactivity, nice layouts through themes, and also get that protection and security that you can get through plugins as well.